Welcome to Barack and Crew. Tonight we have a special edition focusing on mangroves. To begin our study of mangroves, I'm going to go hand you over to our foreign correspondent, Jack Gold, who is currently being interviewing Dr. Pio Pi Wong, who specialises in mangrove studies and has been living in Vietnam for 30 years on his own. Here we are with Professor Pio Pi Wong, who studies mangroveology in the jungles of Vietnam. Professor Wong has been studying mangroveology for 30 years on his own in a hut. Let's see if we can talk to him. Uh, Pio Pi! Pio Pi! Pio Pi! Uh, Professor Gold, how may I help you? So, Professor Wong, what exactly are these mangroves? Well, well mangroves are very tight trees, from small to big, and they grow in uh, tropical areas, where things around the equator, such as Southeast Asia and uh, South America, sometimes even Australia. And you see, uh, they go around the equator, tropical cancer, tropical capricorn. Um, I hear that mangroves are often said to have one foot in land and one foot in water. Yes, ah. so can you explain this? Oh, well, you see, mangroves have adapted to a serious heat, high rainfall, cyclones, as well as choking mud and different levels of water and concentration of salt. How interesting. So these mangroves are clearly well adapted to their surroundings. I, I, I believe able to cope with all types of varying factors. Yeah, very interesting. Oh. Although mangroves are one of the most successful ecosystems on this planet, they are being destroyed at an incredible rate! It anger me! You see, uh, the people, they are cut down the mangrove, and so they can have uh, they, they can have the firewood, and they can sell it for quick, easy money. Also, <laughs> they can build fish farms, and they can exploit the, the mangroves, which is so delicate and so much life. And they build a house on stilts. Also, due to water levels go up, the mangroves are pushed back, because Salty water, too salty for mangroves. Delicate roots die. You see, Chinese Mekong Delta River supplies Southeast Asia with fresh water, supplying mangroves. They build big dam, three gorges dam. Now, seawater, because there's no fresh water, push back, killing mangroves. And now they build more dam. So, ten years time, no mangroves. Wow, you're clearly very angered by this, Mr. Wong. Um, is there anything we can do to maybe prevent this from happening? Oh, oh you, you stop Chinese and also global warming, because global warming means sea levels rising. Uh, so, so it's all the Chinese fault, oh, yes? Oh yes, Chinese. It's also uh, chemicals from factory go into Mekong River and chemicals kill delicate roots, killing a whole mangrove. It's absolutely terrible. Mangroves are very important. You see, uh, in, a psych in a tsunami, uh, two people in Vietnamese mangroves survived, I mean died, whereas 6,000 people in village next, where no mangrove, because they cut it down, died. That's absolutely terrible. Mm. I mean, obviously they act as a natural defence barrier yes. as well. Yes, buffer. Mm -hmm. Professor Pio Pi Wong, you are obviously very, very concerned about the mangroves, so... Yes, very. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay, goodbye. Um, anyway, that was our report with Professor Wong. Now back to HQ for more mangroves. Hey, do you want to go to lunch? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Jack, for that amazing interview with Dr. Wong. Wouldn't you agree? Well, that's the end of our session on mangroves. Good night and stay classy. <laughs> Thank you, Jack, for that <laughs> this session on mangroves. I hope you had a nice time. <coughs> no, I <laughs> you agree. Well, that's it for our session today. <laughs> Thank you, Jack, for that amazing interview. <laughs> 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 Is it starting film? Thank you, Jack, for that amazing interview. <laughs> <laughs> Here's. <laughs> I knew this. Thank you.
Good. Try and break free, break free. <laughs> and start crying.